You know our first guest from his work on Saturday Night Live, he co-wrote and stars in The King of Staten Island, which is available on demand now. Here's my conversation with our friend, Pete Davidson. Pete, buddy, it is so nice to see you. How you doing? I'm good, man. You know, just chilling in my mom's basement. <laughs> that is, uh, the rumor was that you were in your mom's basement. I was on uh, Howard Stern this morning, and he was saying that he talked to you last week and was busting you on the fact that you have a movie that you wrote and you starred in, and it's coming out, and there's no premiere party, and there's no red carpet, and you are, in fact, in your mom's basement. Yep, couldn't have turned out better for me. <laughs> it was, there is something really fitting on making a movie that is, I mean, I think there's very, been very few films that are a love letter to Staten Island, which I do believe this movie is in a lot of ways. And yet, right. uh, it seems like the price you paid for that is you have to be in Staten Island uh, the week it opened. Like, it did not yeah. allow you any escape from Staten Island. There is something to the fact that this is, I mean, a, a film about, uh, about Staten Island, uh, real people from Staten Island, people who like being there, who feel it's undervalued. Uh, what have your friends thought of the film? Because obviously you, you take a lot on your back when you make a film about your hometown. Uh, my friends really dug it. The main comment I got from my friends, they would, they would like pause the movie and they would call me and they'd be like, bro, I know Marissa Tomei is your mom and don't take any offense to this, but bro, she's hot. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like there's, there's no offense to that at all. I, I, it's a fictional, yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, the biggest comment I got. How does your mom feel about the casting of Marissa Tomei? Oh, my mom's just thrilled. We're all just such big fans, and she's so incredible and such a genius. So, like, we we feel like we got away with something. Like, we're, we're so thrilled to have her in it. She's amazing. Uh, your grandfather's in the film. Yeah, my actual grandfather's in the film. He came to <laughs> set every day and hung out, and he told me that he could tell that I was doing well because of the food that they were serving. He was like, Peter, there's pork chops today, so I know everything's going all right. Was it the plan from the beginning to have him in that graduation scene, or, or did he sort of uh, talk his way on the set? I think Judd just pulled me aside and was like, I think, I think he would crush it. And then I was like, yeah, he probably would. And then he arguably has my favorite scene in the entire movie. It's really funny. Don't take this the wrong way, but when he first opened his mouth, I had this thought. Oh, Pete knows that person. <laughs> they did not seem like someone you found via a normal casting table. <laughs> yeah, he really knocked it out of the park. We're really happy for him. Uh, so, you know, this movie is, you know, based obviously on your real life. And, uh, you know, the, the crux of it is that you lost your father, uh, who was a fireman in 9-11. I've heard you talk about that on stage before, but I have to imagine writing about it for a film is it is it cathartic is it painful like what was that process like um it was a little bit of both i think it could have been a lot worse if judd and the crew wasn't so sensitive to my feelings they really made me feel like comfortable so it was definitely more of a cathartic uh, experience and uh it definitely made me feel a lot better as a person uh judd is obviously well known uh, and deservedly receives a lot of praise for helping people tell their stories. But before I got on board, like earlier drafts when it was just, uh, and who's a friend of yours you co wrote it with? Oh, Dave Cyrus, the great Dave Cyrus. So you guys, early drafts were, uh, were less about uh, this cathartic journey and more about, well, why don't you tell everybody what the early drafts were about? Yeah, originally it was just uh, me and my friend were writing this movie about getting my mom laid and it just got, <laughs> overly disgusting and then Judd turned it and weaved it into this 120 pages of emotion and an actual story so thank yeah. God for him yeah. a, a far a far different film a very different film for sure uh you have some uh I mean some classic uh well-known great actors like we mentioned Marissa Tomei Steve Buscemi is outstanding um oh, yeah. Bill Burr is fantastic one of my favorite stand-ups and he's just a great actor is this someone you had always wanted to play that part uh Bill Burr is a hero of mine and I think he's the greatest stand-up comic ever so like Judd and I were just like if there's any way we can get him to do he was another guy we were like I hope we can get him to do this you know because he's so great and uh it was a dream come true getting to work with him he destroyed it he was wonderful, and it's really fun to watch, um, you know, someone you know as a stand-up, like, 
just hold their own, uh, you know, in scenes with someone like Marissa Tomei. And I should also note, I felt the same way about you. Like, you and Bill are two people I know sort of uniquely from watching you be versions of yourself. It was really fun to watch this movie and sort of forget uh, you were Pete. Uh, it was great. I mean, did you feel, is the burden of acting, and I know you've done movies, but is the burden of acting when you are playing a version of yourself bigger, or is it, do you feel more comfortable? Oh, I felt a lot more comfortable because it's just like, if, if nobody likes this, it's just, they don't like me. It's not, <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not like I, I, I was reaching or anything. It's just people just don't like me. That, that was my, uh, that was my way out of it. You said your stat on the friends have been pleased with the, uh, the way the film turned out. Were people excited when there was a film set uh, on Staten Island in the beginning? Uh, people from Staten Island were, would, it's very, it, a lot of people were excited about it, but a lot of people were like very frustrated with the traffic that it brought. I uh, see. Like, like people, you know how normally, like if anybody's shooting anything and, and people will stop by and be like, what is this? Oh my God, this is amazing. A lot of people would stop by and be like, hey, you're blocking my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, it's, a, you know, I, I can't believe it took this long considering the show's uh, based in New York, but I think it's safe to say, uh, this is the first era in SNL where there are two uh, actors, two cast members from Staten Island, you and Colin Jost. Uh, yeah. Colin also did a, a movie called Staten Island Summer. Do you think he regrets now going first and not naming his movie the king of Staten Island? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. He's, <laughs> yeah. Colin's, Colin's crushing it in Montauk with the waves, man. Co Colin doesn't <laughs> care about the, the internet <laughs> fodder. Colin's destroying the world. He's the monarch of Montauk, that's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, he's the man. Uh, all right, we're gonna uh, come back with more Pete Davidson right after this.